Missouri, Nebraska coming up on the Big 12 Network. Missouri has won four games in a row. Nebraska winners six out of their last seven. Nebraska lost the first meeting between the two teams, 80-57 at Missouri back on January 2nd. Big game, though. Missouri, two losses. Nebraska, three losses in the Big 12. Texas, Texas Tech, our other game. All that coming up next. Advance Auto Parts presents part number 64. Tom, head of PDQ. Hey, groovy guy. I'm looking for a exhaust gas recirculation valve for my 76 Cordova. If you need hard-to-find parts, it doesn't matter what model or even what decade your car is from. With PDQ, you'll usually get the part overnight. Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. Hello, honey. Yeah, um, it, you wrote down chips, and there's a lot of them. Okay, I don't see 2%, but I see there's red. Uh, do you want uh, crunchy or smooth? Ultra dry or super dry or, well, she just took the last one. The simple truth is, you need all the airtime you can get. That's why Southwestern Bell has flexible plans that let you talk longer than ever. Paper or plastic? Oh, honey, last one, I swear. I'm just... She hung up. Two terrific matchups coming up on the Big 12 Network. It's Missouri taking on Nebraska. Missouri 16-4, 7-2 in league play. They trail Texas by just a game. Nebraska has won six of their last seven. They're 6-3 six in league play, two games behind. First place, Texas. The Longhorns have won 10 of their last 11, four in a row. Texas Tech is slumping 2-7 in league play. Chris Mim averaging a double-double on the season. He is having a terrific sophomore season. All right, let's get you caught up on what's going on elsewhere in the Big 12 and the country. First off, Kansas State at Iowa State. K-State trailed at halftime. Tom Asbury's team appeared headed to another loss on the road. They've won only once under Asbury on the road in Big 12, but they came back. You saw Josh Reed. Manny dies was big inside with a turnaround hook, and K-State a winner, 67-62. I tell you, K-State has to be the best uh, four and six league team in the country. They are very talented. Baylor against Texas A&M, Melvin Watkins' team at home, watching Clifton Cook the steal. Michael Schmidt then hands off to Shane Jones. Nice passing. Aggies up by four in the second half. Here comes Clifton Cook again, driving baseline. Ooh, that's kind of a fancy shot, huh? Texas A&M evens their overall record at 10-10 and 10 on the season. They're now 3-7 and seven in league play. Look at Baylor and Harry Miller, his worst start in five years. 0-10 oh in league play. We're only moments away from our big doubleheader, Missouri, Nebraska. The Tigers and Cornhuskers are red hot. The Tigers trying to stay one game behind Texas. That is, unless Texas stubs their toe in Lubbock. The Red Raiders only two and seven, but that's a rivalry down in Lubbock. 100,000 places you can get cash for college. The Coca-Cola Scholarship Foundation. International Brotherhood. 100,000 places you can get cash for college. Our partners, the United Steelworkers Scholarship. Now you can find 100,000 sources of cash for college with the Scholarship Book, the complete guide to scholarships, grants, loans, and financial assistance. Best of all, this important book is yours risk-free for 30 days. You get names, addresses, and direct access to 100,000 sources of cash for college, often without having to prove financial need or have outstanding grades. We received $10,000 in tuition assistance. We wouldn't have had the money for tuition without the scholarship book. Call 800-892-8899 for the scholarship book, just $26.95. That's 800-892-8899. Satisfaction guaranteed. Number one, UConn on the road at Stanford, leading 30-26. Remember, UConn suffered that loss two days ago to Syracuse. Duke will probably be number one when the polls come out tomorrow because they win in Atlanta, 87-79, 11-0 now in the league. Their best start in school history at 23-1. No one looks at the markets with a more insightful eye than Barron's, offering timely coverage of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, everything investors need to stay informed. Subscribe now and you'll also receive this Barron Stock Evaluator free. It lets your computer help you turn money into wealth. Get 13 weeks of Barron's and the Stock Evaluator all for only $39. Call now, toll free.
800-334-6600. That's 800-334-6600. Can't tear up my Check out the full line of Bobcat equipment at KC Bobcat, located conveniently in Olathe and Blue Springs. That does it from Studio 66. We'll keep you updated in that UConn Stanford game. Remember, UConn leads Stanford at halftime by four points. I'm excited about what's coming up in the Big 12. It's Missouri against Nebraska. Should be a terrific contest. The Tigers only two losses, Nebraska three in the league. First place, Texas. At Texas Tech, watch Chris Mim, one of the best big men in the country. See you at halftime. Par, par, birdie. Whoa, par, hmm. Must be a Golf Magazine subscriber. Call now for your free trial issue and learn how to shave three, four, or five strokes off your game. Add 20 yards to your tee shots. Improve your short game. Shoot lower and play the best golf of your life. Call now for your free trial issue of Golf Magazine. If you like it, get 11 more issues, 12 in all for just $19.97. Plus, get this terrific Golf Magazine gear bag free with your paid subscription. Call 1-800-848-9339 now. You want to have an illegal business? He's running a house of prostitution. Get a bigger guard dog. An all-new Cops Them. This vicious gang. Their message is simple. Save the planet. But police say they'll kill to get their point across. They become violent. America's most wanted. It all starts tonight at 7 on Fox 4. Fox 4 News shows you how adult entertainment has grown from a seedy backdoor business into a billion-dollar mega industry. Reaching into your neighborhood tonight. Only on Fox 4 News at 9. The first front-wheel drive minivan in America. The first to offer dual sliding doors. The first with roll-out seats. A minivan that since introduction has offered more innovations than any other. The new Dodge has a passion for bringing the future into the present and then making it affordable with a $1,000 cash allowance or 1.9 financing on Dodge Caravans. The future is waiting. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you for this limited time offer. And welcome now to the Nevani Center in Lincoln, Nebraska, where the Big 12 action heats up today as Norm Stewart brings the Missouri Tigers to town. Tangle with Denny Knees, Nebraska Cornhuskers. The Tigers come in just one game off the lead in the conference race. Nebraska just two games back. Hi, everybody. I'm Fred White. Our analyst today, Coach Tony Baroni. And Tony, those standings, if nothing else would tell you, this is a big ball game for both teams. This guys. is going to be a big ball game for both teams. We're going to get a chance to see one of the premier freshmen in the country in Keon Dooley. Well, what a player he has turned into for Norm Stewart. He has led the charge lately for Missouri. He's almost impossible to guard because he has the ability to go inside and shoot the perimeter jumper. He's a great penetrator. And he is the reason, clearly, why Missouri has been on a roll lately. And to find out why Nebraska has been, and they've won six of the last seven, don't look any further than the middle. That's where the reason is. One of the top big men in the country, Vincent Hamilton, he is a premier rebounder. He runs the court very, very well. You'll see him here going after a dunk. He also had 21 points and 12 rebounds against Kansas and was a dominating factor for them. Earlier this year, Missouri won big down in Columbia right after the holidays. But lately, this series has been marked by very tight, close basketball games. And that's really the kind of a game that we should be looking for here in Lincoln this afternoon. Again, Nebraska and Missouri getting set to go. Take a look as we go away at Albert White on a tremendous athletic play. He turned in Wednesday night against Texas Tech. We may see some more of that here this afternoon. We'll be back to meet the starting lineups right after you watch this. Today's game is brought to you by National Car Rental. What are you waiting for? Let's go. By Phillips 66, makers of super clean gasolines and property motor oil. By the new Dodge. From cars to minivans to trucks, it's about change. The new Dodge. By Shelter Insurance. For your life, home, car, farm, or business, Shelter Insurance will always be there for you. And by Sonic, America's Drive-In, where we invite you to drive in for a change. It's about vision. It's about that part of imagination which lives outside the lines. It's about focus and the engineering freedom to change everything that was 
or question everything that is. It's insight and the flow of original thinking that can revitalize an industry or rewrite its rules. It's foresight and the discerning intelligence to negotiate surprise and navigate new ground. It's thousands of people visualizing change and one company's way of looking at tomorrow. What exactly is opportunity? Is it big or small? At Nations Bank, we believe every business decision you make holds opportunity. And like you, we have a knack for finding it, whether it's maximizing cash flow or taking your company public. Maybe that's why we're the bank for so many leading companies around the country and why we lend more money to business than any bank in America. Opportunity is out there. Let's make the most of it. Nebraska, the Husker cheerleaders in the crowd, and a good crowd it is in the Devaney Center getting cranked up and ready to roll here as we get ready for the Huskers and the Tigers in Big 12 basketball. Let's take a look at the Southwestern Bell starting lineups for Missouri. Brian Crowler and Keon Dooling have turned in a great pair of guards, sophomore freshman Johnny Parker's in here, Albert White, the premier player for Missouri all year long, and then Monty Harge, the big man in the middle who's played Vincent Hamilton so well earlier. Joe Holmes at a guard along with Cookie Belcher. Larry Florence, tremendous athlete at 6'5", Andy Markowski, a battler at the four spot, and Vincent Hamilton, who is really playing well. Let's take a look at the Dodge keys to victory, Tony. The keys today, uh, Missouri must contain Hamilton, and they must handle Nebraska's changing defense. The keys uh, for Nebraska, in terms of how they have to play today, they're going to have to stop penetration, uh, in terms of dueling especially, and they're going to have to get back on defense. Those are the two keys for Nebraska. The two veteran coaches in the conference. Norm Stewart's been in the league longer than anybody else. Danny Nee, number two in seniority. For Norm Stewart today, game number 1,098. Seven games away from Henry Ivo. Is that possible? He's an institution. <laughs> He's coached more than half the games or been involved in more than half the games ever played at Missouri. Missouri will have the ball to start it. Here's how they stack up. Tail of the tape, 16 and 4, 14 and 8 in conference play. Nebraska 6 and 3, Missouri 7 and 2. Nebraska started in a good, solid man-to-man -man defense. Brian Grower got Hamilton off his feet, dropped it down inside. Now they shovel it back to Harge, and Albert White's going to be able to save it with 19 on his shot clock. Well, Nebraska's practice was intense yesterday, Tony. They, they'll have to hear contain dueling on this high pick and roll. It's something that Missouri does a lot of. Now Grower has been shooting it well, but I think Belcher might have got a fingertip on that one. But Missouri got it back, and Albert White was fouled, and they count the bucket. I, I'm impressed already by uh, Missouri's uh, energy on the offensive glass. Uh, they've crashed it twice now. With Norm Stewart, I think, uh, is, is just really a, a legend coach now. He, he'll go right into the Hall of Fame. That foul was on Vincent Hamilton, and Nebraska doesn't want to go there and have him in foul trouble today, and he got one quick one. Yeah, they have to be very careful of that. Oh, look at the give to Belcher, and he missed the shot, rebounded by Missouri. What a great cut and feed from Hamilton. And now a walk, Johnny Parker travel. On that drive by uh, Belcher, you would like to see him pull up a little bit quicker and not use a finger roll on that play. Try to use the backboard and get a good jump stop in. Well, that might have been one of those cases where a player is surprised to find himself so wide open at the bucket. And Missouri has a player hurt and limping off the floor. That's Albert White. Danny Knee has done a great job here at, at Nebraska. They've been to eight postseason tournaments in a row. Albert White being tended to by the Tiger trainer over there. You know what? They're kind of feeling his ribs. I wonder if he got hit in the midsection. Good fake. Benson Hamilton, and he banked it off the glass. He has really improved in that area. He's done a wonderful job of uh, being able to face up and take the jump shot. 
Three two Missouri. We'll keep an eye on Albert White for you. The key matchup for Nebraska right now is Belcher and Dooling. That'll be a big matchup. 16 on the shot clock. Keon Dooling works against Belcher. Dooling got it down inside and they have to throw it back out with eight on the shot clock. Now Dooling walked to the basketball or there's a three second violation is what it was. Three seconds. Sometimes when you have a penetrating guard like Dooling, uh, the players inside tend to watch him a little bit. They have to move up the lane and get out of the lane and avoid that. Still talking to Albert White, who's now leaning back in his chair over on the Missouri bench. You can see in the background, you can see the trainer with his back to you working on him. He must have taken a blow to the midsection somehow. Now Larry Florence down inside, and he is fouled by Gilbert. Let's go back and take a look and see if we can figure out how Albert White got hurt. There's the drive to the bucket, and he got in front of Belcher. Must have taken a knee to the middle, Tony. It looks like he took a knee or he got a strain. Now Markowski scores off the inbounds pass, and the Huskers jump in front by a point. Nebraska does a great job of running their out-of-bounds play. They execute very well. Brower. Parker. Hards trying to post Hamilton down inside. They really didn't take much of a look in there that time. It doesn't look like where they intend to go. Albert White's going to come back in the game. This is going to be a, a situation where uh, Nebraska has to be able to contain this particular set of Missouri. Missouri will have the ball with nine on the shot clock when we come back. And now Albert White returning to the floor, replacing Johnny Parker from Missouri. So maybe White got the wind knocked out of him a little bit. We'll keep an eye on him. He is important. Look at those numbers. Nebraska went to a 1-3-1 uh, zone here on the out-of-bounds play. Gilbert out of the corner missed. Albert White's tip wouldn't fall. And here come the Huskers. Joe Holmes with the basketball. <laughs> Hamilton. What a quick fadeaway in the lane, and he got it. Benson Hamilton has four points. That's how you have to attack uh, hard. You can't go right at him. you got to make a quick move, and, and that little fadeaway is good. Grower for three, and he knocked it down. Brian Grower at the other end. And a long pass to Hamilton off his fingertips back to Missouri. Tony Hard just had some good games against Vincent Hamilton in the past. I think he's had his three best double doubles against Vincent in the past. And I think what you're, you're going to see here more and more is uh, Vincent will try to run him into the ground. I don't think Danny Knee liked the long pass intended for Vincent Hamilton that time. Albert White working, going to pop the jumper in and out. And Holmes right back for Nebraska. We're in a 6-6 tie in the early going here, and Holmes is going to go to the rack with it. Good penetration by Holmes that time. He shot over Brower in the low post. Not much of a score, but he took it right to the bucket that time. He's not a guy that looks to shoot the ball very often. Harge up high. Albert White against Markowski. Picked up the dribble, needs help. Dueling is going to provide it. That was a two. His ability to freeze the defense on that fake dribble drive move is really impressive for a young kid. Well, he is so quick with the first step, isn't he? He can really go by it. He, he can really fly. Tigers and Huskers in an 8-8 tie. Hamilton stopped Florence wide open underneath. That's the second time that they've taken advantage of Gilbert guarding Florence. That's a bad match for them. Well, hey, Florence is a good athlete, too, isn't he? And he scores in spurts, Fred. He's one of those guys that can just, he gets going, and he's very hot. There goes Clarence Gilbert to the bucket. He lost the ball, trying to shovel it out of there, and Cookie Belcher's in the middle of it. Now, Dooling didn't see it, and Belcher comes away with it. To Florence, look here. Oh, and he missed the jump. He rattled it off the back of the rim. Albert White right back into the circle at the other end, and he missed. And back comes Nebraska. This is an up-and-down basketball game. Belcher, they weren't sure who he intended to pass for. Holmes able to save it. But Florence missed that dunk. He shot it too strong right off the back of the rim. Nebraska's really making an emphasis to get the ball into Benzin. Holmes got it. That's a funny little left-handed shot. Unlikely shot, unlikely score. He's averaging two points a game, and he has four really quick here, and we have timeout. With 14.57 left in our first half, Nebraska up by four. 
over Missouri in the early going here. Dooling and Grauer for uh, Missouri have, have really played extremely well, especially in the last four games. Dooling has freed up uh, Grauer to become the off guard and become the shooter. Uh, Dooling is so good at penetrating, it's giving Grauer the opportunity to tee it up from the three and from the perimeter, and he's opened up a lot of scoring for Grauer. Keon Dooling in the last four games has averaged 19 points a game and shot 63%, opened it up for Grauer. And another thing about Grauer, Tony, what a rebounder he is for a six-footer. I saw that, and it's uh, he gets to every loose ball, Fred, is what happens. Averaging five rebounds a game. Now Albert White dueling on the cut to the bucket, and Albert White knew right where he was. Set play out of the timeout. The veteran, Coach Stewart, uh, had the play set up and really well executed by Albert White in doing. One more thing Albert White does for his ball club, he does just about everything well. Those kind of players are really tough to guard when they can pass, dribble, and shoot. Sometimes he'll get in, in periods in the game where he's just a really good decoy. He'll draw a lot of attention to himself and free up other people. Now the ball rejected as they try to take it down inside to Chad Johnson. Seven on the shot clock. Belcher finds Benson Hamilton and he couldn't get it down. Now Hamilton touched it last and Dooling picks it up from Missouri. Good control by uh, Missouri on the break and good job of moving the ball. There's Monty Harge. He got behind Hamilton for the easy bucket. Fred, he's tough to guard. He's a tank down there. And if you play on the high side of him, he pushes you up and you get the old open backside look. Which is exactly what he did right there. And the game is tied at 12. Now Joe Holmes puts it on the floor. Down inside, they tried to get the ball to Johnson and he was fouled. Now Joe Holmes has to be hit careful there. He's got a couple of buckets made a couple of shots he's got to know what his role is and he's got to continue to distribute the ball and now we have another timeout in Lincoln 13 43 left in first half action and at the stop they are dead even at 12 and we'll be back after this from Phillips 66. We process oranges and cocoa in Brazil blend and distribute animal feeds on five continents export North American grain to hungry markets around the world, and produce fertilizers in Saskatchewan and Florida, where our neighbors are flocking to their new home. Cargill. It's not just what we do, it's how we do it. Fortune 500 companies know that when it comes to renting a car, there's really only one place to go. National Car Rental. Because at most major airports in America, National gets you in your car and on the road fast. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. National Car Rental. Let's go. The hottest looking compact car on the road today. 16 valve ZTEC engine. Standard rear quadrilink suspension. 24-hour roadside assistance for total security. The 99 Ford ZX2. Need another reason? How about up to $1,500 cash back on the hot new ZX2? There's only one place to get a deal like that on a car like this. At your local Ford dealer now. This is a play that uh, Missouri scored on after the timeout. It's set up by Grauer cutting through to the corner on a uh, angle cut. And what they did was they cleared the backside for White to come up and catch it. And then there was no one on the backside to guard dueling. Really well executed play. Coaches love to see that when they set up the play out of the timeout to see it executed properly, huh? They normally don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the play's too good. 12 12 tie. We're in Lincoln. Be interesting to see how Harge is doing. Uh, he's been in the game now for a long period of time. See how his conditioning is. Harry Cohorn, a shooter on the floor for Nebraska now. Missouri with a takeaway. Get it up to Brian Grauer. And he's not going to be in a hurry with it. Gilbert, defended by Piatkowski. Harge going to face Hamilton. No shot there for him. Quick ball movement. Albert White looking for the backdoor cut that time from Gilbert, and it wasn't there. He didn't take the baseline. And, and I don't think Norma would be angry with that. They had great ball movement. Uh, Gilbert was thinking backdoor, which was a good option at that particular time, and Albert was very unselfish. 
Now Nebraska, Chad Johnson, a sophomore from Monticello, Florida, gives it up to Truscott. Cohorn, it's spelled Cochran, is pronounced Cohorn. Benson Hamilton off the baseline. That shot's going to stick. Benson Hamilton has a half dozen points. Seven double doubles in the Big 12 coming into action today for Benson Hamilton. He Great job of minutes. teeing up and catching it, Fred, and just shooting the ball. That's, that's a good move for him. That's Gilbert. Now Grower quickly to the baseline, dueling out of the corner. That's three. Give Keon that, dueling. Give that basket to Grower. Great ball reversal on that play. Seven points for dueling. The miss at the other end, and Monty Harge and Hamilton tangle for the rebound. Touch last by Harge. Out of bounds to Nebraska. Today's game brought to you by Southwestern Pell, your friendly neighborhood global communications company. It was the second time that Nebraska has missed the layup uh, at the end of the break because they were really a little bit out of control. 12-35 left in first half action. Missouri by one. It has been a tight ball game about what we anticipated. Cohorn against Grower. Cohorn a shooter. Add Johnson along the far side to Truscott. And out of the deep corner, the shot won't fall. Truscott, the freshman missed. Hards rebound and threw it away. Broward walking along the top of the press table over here. Five turnovers, Missouri, two, Nebraska. The Huskers have scored six points off those turnovers so far. So they've had the advantage there. Missouri averaging just 16 turnovers a game with five already today. Yeah, that's way too many turnovers this early in the game. Uh, they're trying to make some things happen, though, and I think they'll connect on those outlet passes. Huskers 7 for 12. Nebraska leading the shooting. Missouri 6 for 10 in the early going. Hyatkowski. Nebraska doing quite a bit of substituting here early in the game. Oh, nice backdoor cut. Hyatkowski and Benson Hamilton picked up the assist. Good ball movement. Nebraska and right back Missouri. Gilbert into hard. And it was blocked in here. And it was Truscott. Maybe the freshman that got it instead of Hamilton. Now on the run out, Hamilton's the other end, and he is planted by Monty Harge, who helps him up. With two problems on that sequence. Uh, Monty got the ball in the low post, and when he did get the ball in the low post, he didn't dunk it. Now he trails Hamilton down the court. It was a good clean foul. It was an aggressive foul. I think that's a one of, part of Nebraska's game plan, is to get Harge in a running game with Hamilton, and that'll be a tough matchup for Monty. Monty at 6'11 and 335, not very fleet, but when he gets to you, you move. Now Hamilton, a 66% shooter, misses the first attempt. 6'10 senior from Forest City, North Carolina, 6'10 maybe. Hamilton came back and got it. He has seven points. Take a look at Troy Piatkowski as we go away, and we'll be back after this from your friends at Phillips 66, the performance company. From the very beginning, he was so committed. He stuck with it. He never lost sight of his goal. The hard work and determination paid off. Philip 66 is proud to be tighter sponsor of Big 12 basketball. We know performance starts with commitment. Hello, honey. Yeah, um, it, you wrote down chips, and there's a lot of them. Okay, I don't see 2%, but I see there's red. Uh, do you want uh, crunchy or smooth? Ultra dry or super dry or, well, she just took the last one. The simple truth is you need all the air time you can get. That's why Southwestern Bell has flexible plans that let you talk longer than ever. Paper or plastic? Honey, that's when I swear I'm just... The first front-wheel drive minivan in America. The first to offer dual sliding doors. The first with roll-out seats. A minivan that since introduction has offered more innovations than any other. The new Dodge has a passion for bringing the future into the present and then making it affordable with $1,000 cash allowance or 1.9 financing on Dodge Caravans. The future is waiting. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you for this limited-time offer. Earlier 
earlier this year in Columbia, they were about dead even. Monty Harge and Benson Hamilton. The last year here, Monty Harge had one of the best games of his career. Uh, Monty Harge plays well against uh, Hamilton because Hamilton struggles a little bit with Monty's size. If he uses his quickness, as you notice today, he's pulled him away from the basket a little bit, and he's been able to get his jump shot off, and I think that's a smart way to handle it. Hamilton with seven points so far in this game. Monty Harge has one bucket. And the score, 17-15, Nebraska. Missouri ball with 11.30 left in the first half. Nebraska has switched to a zone now, and I think the key to this is going to be how Missouri adjusts to the difference. They've got good movement already, and they'll handle it pretty well. Oscars in a zone, and Missouri trying to solve it right now. 12 on the shot clock. Dueling out front. And they try to throw it down inside and knock out of there with eight on the shot clock for Missouri. If you're going to beat a zone, you must get good ball movement. You have to reverse the ball. Now, Grower might have had a shot, and instead is dueling with a long try to won't fall. And Piakowski grabs it for Nebraska. Here come the Huskers leading by two. Cohorn. Nebraska very patient right now on offense. Hamilton. 19 on the shot clock, hands it off to Cohorn who can shoot it, and he came up short. The right in the middle of Freshman Prescott, and he missed it. Rebounded by Harsh, deflected, and stolen by Hamilton. He's got it at the baseline to Cohorn. That's a new shot clock. At Johnson. Hamilton. Kind of wanted, now he's going to take Harge into the lane, and Harge stayed with him. 15 on the shot clock. I, I think Harge is underrated with the foot quickness when you go straight at him. Hamilton, double team, double right there with him. Pick it out, Cohorn. He's down the baseline. Five on the shot clock. Piotrowski cuts one loose and down. Good patience by Nebraska. Uh, Missouri is going to have to make a decision on how they're going to guard Hamilton. That time they trapped down with another player. Nebraska's up four. That matches the biggest lead of the game. Piotrowski's hit both of his shot attempts in this game. Albert White's been quiet for a while. Now that one deflected and saved by dueling, maybe. Grower had to go in the air and taken away by the Huskers. Chad Johnson off the break to Piotrowski, who stuck a tough shot. He's three for three. Good execution at the end of the break, uh, Fred, with the jump stop and the shot off the backboard. And Nebraska is getting great play out of Cohorn and Prescott and Johnson and Piotrowski right now. Six-point lead, biggest in the game, and now the crowd getting into it. Nebraska, you see there, with 12 points off turnovers so far today. Dueling a miss, and all of a sudden, the Tigers can't knock it down. The crowd here in Lincoln getting into this ball game. Markowski returns. So does Cookie Belcher. Cohorn coming out of the ball game. Along with Benson Hamilton is going to get a little breather here. I I'm surprised that they're giving as much time consecutively to Harge. Uh, he, he probably is going to need a blow here pretty soon. You can Jason. look and see Missouri is turning the ball over way too many times right now. Albert White with a really unselfish play just shoveled the ball to Monty Hart. It, it makes you such a better player if you can do both and he can really pass the ball. Four point lead now Nebraska. Johnson, Markowski, Belcher. With Hamilton out of the lineup and Markowski at the post, Hodge could be a much different factor. Cookie Belcher with a three. His first points of the ball game. And a seven-point ball to the Huskers here. Dion Dooling. We'll see if somebody from Missouri can make something happen. You'd look for Dooling or White. They really like to break you down on that play. Well, instead it was Gilbert. Gilbert has done a great job for them this year as a freshman and coming off the bench. Very effective. And that was a three in his 24-20 Nebraska. Johnson, Markowski against Harge. Got him off his feet and drew a foul. Count the bucket. Good play, Markowski. He has four and he'll go to the line. And that's the second foul on Monty Harge. See, in that, in that setup, Monty just needs to stay down. He overreacted to Markowski's fake and he got himself in trouble. Markowski's not going to shoot the ball over him, so he just needs to stay big in the paint. 
So Monty Harge goes to the bench. She drew his second foul with 8.05 left in the first half. Let's see how long it takes Danny Nee to get Benson Hamilton back in the game now. This is a small lineup for Missouri. And Markowski really struggles at the free throw line. 49% shooter. Missed that one. Young man from Ord, Nebraska. Has already graduated with high honors here. Graduated in December, Markowski did. Gilbert. John Woods. Missouri likes that play where they go high post, low post. And Markowski knocked it out of there. Eighth turnover now. Charged to Missouri in this ball game. And the Huskers with a six-point lead in the ball. Missouri averaging against 16 turnovers a game, and they're halfway there right now. Johnson, Cookie Belcher. And a charging foul on Cookie Belcher. His first foul. That was excellent de defense by Keon Dooley. He cut off the baseline and had great position. There's timeout here. Benson Hamilton will return to the lineup when we come back, and we're back after this message from your friends at Phillips 66, the performance company. Shoot for the loot this college basketball season at your neighborhood Phillips 66 station. It's your chance to win the grand prize package of five years of free Phillips 66 gasoline, a trip to Las Vegas, and two free tickets to the Phillips 66 Big 12 basketball tournament, where one shot could win you up to $100,000 in cash, plus thousands of other prizes from Phillips 66 and Pepsi. Enter at participating Phillips 66 locations and shoot for the loot today. introduced the most powerful overall line of pickups on the planet and stamped the terms V10 and Magnum Power indelibly on the face of Tructo. It kicked open the door to the next generation of pickups and made such an impression that today, this is all you have to see to know what's behind it. Hey, grab me some chow. For you, my friend, no sweat. Bang. <laughs> Hi, guys. May I take your order? Want personal service? You got it at Sonic. Great food, too, like our famous chicken strip dinner. Served hot and crispy with fries, Texas toast, gravy, and a medium Dr. Pepper, all for a special low price. And this month, try our chocolate-covered cherry sweetheart shake. Pretty sweet service, huh? We'll be home before the commercials are over. Drive in for a change at Sonic. A Studio 66 update, number one UConn at number four Stanford. Khalid el -Amin has been the man today. He has three three-pointers, 19 points overall. Still lots of time. Let's go back to Fred and Tony. All right, let's... Thank you, Doug Bell. Connecticut getting their players back, getting back at it. One of the very few super teams in the country right now, Tony. Along with Duke and Cincinnati, they seem to be the uh, premier group. Nebraska in a zone half-court little trap right now. Again, changing defenses. Cookie Belcher off the steal. Boom! He has five. Cookie Belcher with his 225th career steal. He has his 63rd steal this year. He is an anticipator on defense. He's got great hands. Eight-point lead, Nebraska. The Huskers as a team average 11 steals a game, best in the Big 12. Missouri has two freshmen in the backcourt in Dooley and Gilbert. Now they're a little bit more organized against the zone here. The high school teammates are out there together for Mizzou. Belcher trailing Dooley. John Woods. Honey, that's Albert White. Got it up strong. Oh, my goodness. He, he's a monster inside with his ability to take the ball to the glass. Missouri coming out in a little 2-2-1 two -two half-court trap also. They've moved it up a little bit. Markowski tried to take it to the bucket and lost the grip on it. Coming to shutting down was Albert White. Let's go back and take a look at Cookie Belcher and why he is so good at stealing the ball. Well, what happened here is he got his hands up in the passing lane, and Dooling wasn't prepared for that particular trap, and it bothered him. 63 steals this year for Cookie Belcher. Nebraska changes defenses so many times that they really do a good job of anticipating the steal in, in their zone and their man. Kerry Cohorn is going to return for Nebraska. On the post it goes to Keon Dooling working as Belcher. Oh, what a great dish to the baseline. But the Huskers got a tip from behind, maybe. 
And Trent Gilbert couldn't score, and now head over heels over the bench. Goes one of the Missouri players over there. That's Albert White, and he's okay, I believe. Wow. He's having a tough day today, isn't he? Oh, great hustle on the sideline. Watch this. It looks like he does a face plan on the other side of the official's table over there. Must have caught himself with his hands. I hope. Oh, boy. Boy, that, 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 I, he, I'm surprised that he isn't injured on that one. He's still putting his uniform back together. Huskers up by six, 5.49 left in the first half. Hamilton put it on the floor, can't find a shot. Hard shut him down. Now Cohorn can, and knocked down a two. Gary Cohorn's a shooter, coach. He can he can stick it, and he's not he's got great confidence in what he does. That was a two. He's a 46% shooter from three-point range. And an eight-point lead again in Nebraska. Missouri trying to change it. Monty Hard's got it back, and count the bucket. He was fouled. A big stick back for Monty Harge. This time, what happens is you, you, you'll see Venzen Hamilton get out of position. See how he tried to steal the ball there? The thing that's impressive is Monty goes to the second effort. And once he gets those hands on the basketball, it's like a golf ball in his hands, and sometimes he doesn't have a great touch with that. That foul on Larry Florence is first. Monty Harge, too, has struggled with the line. A 48% shooter. He has six points today. Hamilton with the rebound. Huskers up 6, 521 left in the first half. Kerry Cohorn. Markowski. Hamilton playing hard was running him that time, and they each tipped the ball, and it's out of bounds to Missouri. It's very hard to throw a lob into a big guy when a big guy is fronting him. The pass has to go much higher than it's normally thrown. It's like throwing it over a condo. He's 6'11 and 335. Or the Empire State Building with Monty. <laughs> To the bucket and a foul. Keon Dulane's going to be called for the offensive foul. You, you love it when your big man is willing to take a charge. Keon got out of control here. Benson came across and got really good position. Excellent play. Huskers trying to beat the trap at midcourt. And Florence right through it. And right at Harge and off to Hamilton in the bucket. Well, they handled it well. Unselfish play, great bounce pass by Florence, and Hamilton has excellent hands in there. Florence really made the play. Hamilton has nine, and again the eight-point lead to Nebraska here. Woods hard. Watches the cutters. He wants the shot, and he's got it, but it won't fall for him. And now action on the boards and a foul on Missouri. Let's see who they got. They called somebody underneath for, for pushing off on the rebound. I thought it was a good shot by mine. John Woods. They finally got his first. A lot of times those guards will get in there and try to sneak a little shove here and there, and they hope that you miss it, whereas the big guys can't get away with that. 432 left and a half. Nebraska up by eight. Talked earlier today about the Huskers on a roll. They've won six of their last seven ball games, and pretty good numbers support that. They've done a great job in terms of a couple of things. One, uh, they, they have really held their opponents to a very poor shooting percentage. You see 37%. Not many teams can beat you if you hold them under 40. It's a rare team that puts together a good run without pretty good defense, isn't it? Be, it, it really is, and, and the defense promotes your offense, and when you're getting steals like Nebraska does, that means they're getting a lot of easy baskets. You see the situation there, 4.30 left and a half. The Huskers hanging on to the ball now with an eight-point lead. There's the shooting today. The Huskers, 68%. Missouri on the road shooting 50%, and they're not close to it. Hamilton. Oh, look at Albert White go up and clear the rebound now. He's got Woods up court right there. There's Cohorn with great anticipation, and he's just going to have to hold it up. There is it. Hamilton couldn't handle the pass inside. Now, but White takes it away. And now White's going to push it. Keon Dooling couldn't get a shot. From the corner, Woods can. And in and out. Here come the Huskers, three on two with Belcher to Florence to Belcher. You, you have to be impressed with the Baskers. Uh, they're handling of the break right now. They're really making Missouri guard them at the end, and they're really overloading them. Here. Now the crowd of Devaney on their feet and roaring. The Huskers have opened a 10-point lead. Harge had it knocked loose, saved by Dueling to the corner. Now Woods off the dribble, missed. 
Gohorn for Nebraska, and the Huskers have it rolling right now. Woods' role has changed a little bit. He's coming off the bench, and sometimes it takes a guy a little time to adjust on that. We've got a walk. The ball comes back to Missouri with 314 left in the half. Let's go back and take a look to Cookie Belcher now. We have a timeout with 314 left in the half. There it is. Belcher runs the court as well as anyone. He's got great hands. Advance Auto Parts presents part number 16. Larry, our battery expert. Larry installs more AutoCraft batteries in a day than most people do in a lifetime. No matter what you drive, Larry will make sure you get the right battery for your car. 92 a quart? Yeah. Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. Is your mom coming? My mom? You mean Eric's mom. She drove yesterday. Your co got caught in the duel. Well, my mom's on Thursday. It is Thursday. Wednesday. Thursday. Are we off on Monday? It's Thursday. You had tuna for lunch. Plans getting confused? Use three-way calling from Southwestern Bell. When you're on with one person, just click over, dial another number. When they answer, click back. It's already on your phone in just 75 cents per use. Well, look who's mom for Yeah, us. all of us. Well, this just throws off the whole schedule. Three-way calling from Southwestern Bell. You want to have an illegal business? He's running a house of prostitution. Get a bigger guard dog. Cops. Tonight at 7 on Fox 4. Big time movies, big stars, fans worldwide, and billions in movie sales. Selling sex is big business. Fox 4 News takes you to Las Vegas and shows you how adult entertainment has grown from a seedy backdoor business into a billion dollar mega industry reaching into your neighborhood. Tonight, only on Fox 4 News at 9. Nebraska has been in the lead for a long time now. They are up by 10 over Missouri with 314 left and a half. Phillips 66 is proud to be the presenting sponsor of Big 12 basketball. Be sure to stop by your local Phillips 66 station and fill up with high quality, super clean gasoline. Only from Phillips 66, the performance company. Nebraska's done a good job of changing defenses, and they've really held Dooling down in terms of his penetration. Dooling, seven points so far in the first half of this game. Again, out of a timeout, Coach Stewart sets up a play. Great pass. Good shot, obviously, the dunk by uh, Albert White. Little Horn, short with a try. And Missouri's going to get it back down by eight. And Gilbert's going to push it. Grower. Missouri likes to get the ball at that high spot. They do a good job with that. Monty Harge picks up his eighth point. When he gets the ball that deep, he is really tough to guard, obviously. So, back within six, Missouri with 219 left and a half. Hamilton, Cohorn, Markowski. Florence along the baseline. Oh, what a quick pivot down in there. And he was fouled. Where did he get it to the bucket in a hurry? Florence is too big and too quick for Gilbert down there. It's happened three times now. That foul was on Monty Harge, and that's his third. And a problem for Mizzou. Norm Stewart not liking it. Monty is a big guy. Sometimes probably gets a call go against him that might not be his particular foul, but he has to play with his hands up instead of playing with his hands at his side. Larry Florence, his third point. Monty Harge will be coming out of the ball game now. And Pat Schumacher checking in for Missouri. Now, this is interesting. Keep an eye on Schumacher. He fouled out in a game against Nebraska earlier this year in nine minutes of play. Well, it, it, this is a key time coming down the last two minutes for Missouri here. And he has to play very intelligently now. Now Florence to miss. 35-28. Nebraska by seven. Dooling. Grower. White over the top, Schumacher, and Hamilton blocked him from behind. Florence at the other end, and he's fouled. How about Vincent Hamilton at the defensive end with his 51st block of the year? Uh, it's uh, incredible how quick he gets off the ground in terms of blocking shots, and that was a good block. It was a nice high-low play 
by Missouri, and then the push to Florence, who really athletically can run the court. First foul on Albert White. Florence, one for two at the line. That one's down. This is where you absolutely must make your free throws. Last two minutes of the half, uh, the game, obviously, but you really have to knock them down here. Minute 52 left in the half. Florence got him both. He's a good free throw shooter. He's three for four today with five points. And that's a nine point lead to Nebraska Cat. Coming up at halftime on our National Car Rental Halftime Report, you'll see the earlier games today Kansas State at Iowa State, Baylor and AM and Texas, and Texas Tech. We'll have reports from all those. Doug Bell in Studio 66 on our National Car Rental Halftime Report. And Missouri just lost the handle on it, but out of bounds for the Tigers with 23 on the shot clock. Now Schumacher's coming out. Johnny Parker back in. When you catch the ball and you're a big man, you need to bring, bring that ball up to your shoulders, up to your chest. Don't keep it down there where the guards can come after it. Terrence Gilbert caught the ball. He almost didn't see the inbounds pass. Now they take it down inside Parker, and he lost the handle on it. Norm's really gone to a small line up there. I, I think Parker really is a key here for them today. I, I think he's got to contribute uh, defensively for sure and probably in the offensive glass. Parker is 6'6", the biggest player on the floor from Missouri now. Let's see if they go to Hamilton right away. Belcher. That's Johnson, takes it to the lane, drops it down inside, and a miss. But right back to it is the freshman Truscott. Boy, he's a good athlete. Now, that, that's 11 6 standing still right there. That was amazing as quickly as he got up. Truscott, the freshman, scores. An 11 point lead, Nebraska, the biggest of the game so far today. Parker can't get it. A mismatch on the glass right now uh, for Nebraska. Uh, Missouri, as small as they are, not going to get any offensive rebounds. 45 left and a half, 23 on the shot clock now as Belcher works against dueling. Iapkowski, Brower with him. Looking inside at Hamilton, and the ball contested now. Parker's got a hand on it, and timeout taken by Missouri. They're going to have the ball with 33 seconds left and a half when we come back. 20-second timeout. Let's go back and take a look at the freshman, Lewis Truscott. The impressive thing here is he gets the first one blocked, and his second effort is just phenomenal. And guys that can two-foot jump, it, it's, it's not... A lot of guys can't do that. They have to use one foot and jump off of it. He jumped off two feet. That was an incredible play. 6'7 freshman from Houston, Texas. Out of Millby High School. Well, there's a ton of talent in Houston, Texas. Excellent, excellent talent, and... Lou Lewis was uh, a young man who was very highly recruited. He's a great athlete. He'll be Let's a good go player. Here. Let's go, Red! 33 seconds left and a half as we come back to action in Lincoln. What Nebraska has left, they have to play at Kansas their next game. Home to Iowa State and Oklahoma State. At Tech, at Kansas State, home to Texas A&M. The Huskers, after losing their first two conference games, won 6-7 to get themselves right back in it. Their only loss in that stretch at Iowa State last weekend. They're a focused team right now. I'm very impressed with them. Here at the end of the half now, this is where Dooling becomes a real critical player uh, in terms he likes to penetrate. Nebraska now has gone to a zone, which I think is really a good move against Grower and Dooling in this particular case. Eight seconds left in the half. Grower down to the baseline. Albert White in trouble. Threw it up softly. Couldn't get it. Hamilton clears the rebound. They've got Johnson for about a 35-footer that won't fall, but a good half for Nebraska. And look at the crowd of Devaney. They rise to their feet to applaud the Huskers. 39-28, Nebraska at halftime. And let's get you back to Doug Bell in Studio 66 for halftime festivities. Fred, Tony, thank you very much. Time for you guys to sit back and relax. As for you at home, there's no rest for the weary. Lots coming up on our Studio 66 Halftime Report, brought to you by Sonic. It's time for our Sonic Drive to Kansas City. And for that, we check in with the game between first place Texas at Texas Tech. Rick Barnes watching. Gabe Manecki with a rejection. Big Gay is so tough inside. One more. And they got the travel on that call. Maneki then on the offensive end. Too strong for the Red Raiders inside. And right now the Longhorns, first place, flexing their muscles up 35-22. And it appears they're headed for a 9-1 mark in the Big 12.
Today's game is brought to you by Phillips 66, makers of super clean gasolines and chop arctic motor oil. Fortune 500 companies know that when it comes to renting a car, there's really only one place to go. National Car Rental. Because at most major airports in America, National gets you in your car and on the road fast. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. National Car Rental. How do you measure opportunity? Is it one size fits all? Does it only come in small, medium, and large? At Nations Bank, we believe the true measure of opportunity is not the size of your business, but the size of your ideas. Maybe that's why we lend more money to small businesses than any bank in America. We share your point of view, and what we see is not a small business. It's a huge opportunity. Let's make the most of it. You mean Eric's mom. She drove yesterday. Your car got caught in the door. Well, my mom's on Thursday. It is Thursday. Wednesday. Thursday. Are we open Monday? It's Thursday. You had tuna for lunch. Plans getting confused? Use three-way calling from Southwestern Bell. When you're on with one person, just click over, dial another number. When they answer, click back. It's already on your phone in just 75 cents per use. Well, look who's mom for. Yeah, all of them. Well, this just throws off the whole schedule. Three-way calling from Southwestern Bell. We process salt in California and the Caribbean. I'm on my way. Extract food and feed ingredients from Iowa corn and soybeans. Supply orange juice to New York, Moscow, and Tokyo. And market farm commodities from elevators across North America, where the flow of grain is, at times, briefly interrupted. Oh, my gosh. Happy birthday, Jim. Cargill. It's not just what we do. It's how we do it. Imagine TV. A local man got more than he bargained for at his Mercury dealer. And here's a golden opportunity from your Mercury dealer. The Gold Edition Mercury Mountaineer with a look that's pure gold. A $695 value at no extra charge and no first month's payment up to $500. Plus, check out the new 99 four-door Villager and register to win a Caribbean cruise. Even I'm impressed. Until next time, imagine yourself in a Mercury. Welcome to the National Car Rental Halftime Report, brought to you by National Car Rental. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. Nebraska on top of Missouri at halftime, 39-28. The Tigers have won four in a row coming into this game. Let's get you caught up on all the scores and highlights. We'll start it out with a game earlier today between Baylor and Texas A&M down in College Station. Remember two weeks ago this game with that fantastic finish, A&M won in the last second shot in overtime. Today, less suspenseful. The nice pass to Shane Jones for the jam. A&M ran off and left him in the second half. Clifton Cook drives baseline. Nice reverse lay-in. And the Aggies send the Baylors home with another loss. They're now 0-10, speaking of the Bears. 69-58 the final. Kansas State at Iowa State. Tom Arisbury's team has struggled, winning only one of 20 road games in the Big 12. But today, a different story. Josh Reed outside, Manny dies inside. That was the story for the Wildcats as they win in Ames. 67-62, both teams now 4-6 in league play. K-State at 15-8 overall. Number one UConn, at least for another day or so. Against Stanford, that's the big game. And Richard Hamilton still out for the Huskies with that injury. Khalid el -Amin picking up the slack with the steal. The sweet spin move and the J. el -Amin had 16 points in the first half. Second half, Kevin Freeman, the put-back jam. And the Huskies on the road leading 54-49. They lead that series 2-0, by the way. And Duke will be number one tomorrow as they come from behind to beat Georgia Tech in Atlanta, 87-79. The Duke is off to the best start in their history. Bob Huggins in Cincinnati, they're edging closer and closer to that number one spot. Two seconds to go first half. Ryan Fletcher to Mike Horton, touchdown. Oh, actually, that's just two points, but Cincinnati led by six at the break. Melvin Levitt pulls up off the break. Oh, and he's pumped up about it, too. Cincinnati now leads 47-39 over DePaul. 
in Chicago. Maryland knocked off Virginia today, 88-72. Maryland coming off that loss to Duke. Number five, Kentucky. And Tubby Smith lost in Gainesville a couple of nights ago. On the road now in Tuscaloosa. Good dish from Shimu Evans to Desmond Allison. Count it, and the foul. Later, Michael Bradley. Oh, yeah, the big man from Boston with a reverse slam. Close game. Alabama in last place, but down by only two at home. And Vandy at home leads Arkansas 58-55. That would take a little pressure off Jan Rambretikoff, the Vandy coach. Michigan State against Iowa. Mateen Cleaves hits the three. Nobody even close to him. Cleaves then comes up with a steal. Passes ahead to Mo Peterson. And Big Mo's got the momentum. Count it. And the foul. As we go to the scoreboard, Michigan State in first place in the Big Ten. They win it 95-81. And the Fighting Illini at home against Wisconsin looking for only their second conference win. It's Penn State losing at home to Northwestern. Northwestern has won six in a row. They now have 14 wins in the season. And NC State at home leads Clemson. Big East, Miami, 71-58 winners over Georgetown. And Notre Dame beats Seton Hall 76-60. The Irish now have an even-up record in the Big East. Irish score 39-28. Have you been there where water and time find their canvas? Where dreams and flowers bloom? Where beyond each horizon lies another? The land offers an open, eternal invitation to roam, explore, wonder. There are amazing things here and there, which is why we try, in little ways, to protect it. Just something to think about the next time you need fuel. Grab me some chow. For you, my friend, no sweat. Bang. <laughs> Hi, guys. May I take your order? Want personal service? You got it at Sonic. Great food, too, like our famous chicken strip dinner. Served hot and crispy with fries, Texas toast, gravy, and a medium Dr. Pepper, all for a special low price. And this month, try our chocolate-covered cherry sweetheart shake. Pretty sweet service, huh? We'll be home before the commercials are over. Drive in for a change at Sonic. Do rich people have more friends than the rest of us? Are they more deserving of a comfortable seat? Are they more entitled to break safely on a rainy day? Are we the only car company that doesn't think so? Century by Buick. Full of amenities for under 20,000. And right now, Century is an even better value. Come in today and get $750 cash back on every new 99. Century by Buick. A luxury car for everyone. Welcome to the National Car Rental Halftime Report, brought to you by National Car Rental. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. The Classroom Champions brought to you by Phillips 66. When it comes to convenience and value, it's at the top of the class. And so is Rick Warren with that 392 great point average. Hey, when it comes to rivalries, Oklahoma and Texas is as intense as it gets on many levels. And nobody knows better than the subject of today's Cargill Where Are They Now segment, brought to you by Cargill. Daryl Royal played tailback for the Oklahoma Sooners and then turned around and coached the Texas Longhorns, winning 167 games. Today, Royal is the special assistant to the president at Texas. The Oklahoma-Texas rivalry is also the subject of today's Southwestern Belt Conference call. No matter what sport this border war is played, it's always a tough game. If you ask Royal about it, he can sum it up just how tough. Every one of us that went out on the field knew that we were going to get our butt. There's going, to be a, there's going to be a lot of collision, there's going to be a lot of contact, and you're going to come out extremely sore. And some of you will see that OU Texas matchup Wednesday night on the Big 12 Network. Or you'll see Kansas try to get revenge against Nebraska. And our Phillips 66 Player of the Week will be on the network Wednesday. He's Chris Mim, who's averaging a double-double in Big 12 play this season. We'll have more from Studio 66 right after this. When it comes to heating the call of the wild, 
National Car Rental knows there's really only one place to go. Disney's Animal Kingdom Theme Park. Because as the official car rental company of Walt Disney World Resort, National gets you in your car and on the savannah fast for an exciting adventure you'll never forget. So what are you waiting for? Let's go wild to Disney's Animal Kingdom Theme Park with National Car Rental. Let's go! Special Shark. One ride and nothing else matters. Buy a 99 Tiger Shark and pay zero down or get payments as low as $99 per month. We lived with my parents for six months before we found our first house. Finding the home insurance was easier. Shelter insurance has been part of our family for years, and Dad said their claim service is the best. We found a house. Oh, Karen. I just hope this move isn't premature. Shelter Insurance. We'll always be there for you. What exactly is opportunity? Is it big or small? At Nations Bank, we believe every business decision you make holds opportunity. And like you, we have a knack for finding it. Whether it's maximizing cash flow or taking your company public. Maybe that's why we're the bank for so many leading companies around the country. And why we lend more money to business than any bank in America. Opportunity is out there. Let's make the most of it. Welcome back to halftime here. Fred White along with Tony Baroni. Just a good solid first half for Nebraska, Tony. 39-28, they had the 11-point lead. They did a lot of things well. I thought Nebraska really has done a good job of controlling the tempo of the basketball game, and that's been the difference, in my opinion. Take a look at the Shelter Insurance first half highlights. Again, at 39-28, Hester's playing solid defense and doing a lot of other things. Excellent job by Florence here of a bounce pass at the end of the break to Hamilton, who shows good hands, and then he goes up and does what the big guys should do, dunk the basketball at the end of the break. Don't finger roll it. Uh, it's excellent setup play here of dueling, throwing the ball to Albert White on a backdoor cut. They have got to get Albert White more involved. For your life, home, car, farm, or business, shelter insurance will always be there for you. We'll be back with more halftime right after you watch this. Today's game is brought to you by Nations Bank. And by Sonic, America's Drive-In, where we invite you to drive in for a change. Shoot for the loot this college basketball season at your neighborhood Phillips 66 station. It's your chance to win the grand prize package of five years of free Phillips 66 gasoline, a trip to Las Vegas, and two free tickets to the Phillips 66 Big 12 basketball tournament, where one shot could win you up to $100,000 in cash, plus thousands of other prizes from Phillips 66 and Pepsi. Enter at participating Phillips 66 locations and shoot for the loot today. Advance Auto Parts presents part number 64. Tom, head of PDQ. Hey, groovy guy, I'm looking for a exhaust gas recirculation valve for my 76 Cordova. If you need hard to find parts, it doesn't matter what model or even what decade your car is from. With PDQ, you'll usually get the part overnight. Advance Auto Parts, the best part is our people. It is a place where the finest is appreciated in private. Because when one has truly arrived, there is no need to announce it. Park Avenue by Buick, the power of understatement. 
Who is the cigarette smoking man? What really happened to Mulder's sister? Who are the faceless rebels? Mulder, what are you doing? Five years of questions, two Sundays of answers. It's all led up to this. There won't be any stopping it. The X-Files. Sunday night at 8 on Fox 4. Some Kansas Cityans say the year 2000 could bring disaster. Should you prepare for Y2K? Watch Fox 4 News Sunday night at 9 before it's too late. Point halftime marches, uh, margin matches the biggest lead of the half. Nebraska up by 11 over Missouri at halftime. That good Nebraska defense holding Missouri to 28 first half points. Let's take a look now at the Buick first half stats. Look at the shooting for Nebraska. Goodness. They've good shots and they've gotten the break a couple times, Fred, and that's the, the big issue. Uh, also interesting is the, the number of turnovers that Missouri has. They're on a pace to have 20 some turnovers and that, that'll hurt them. And possession, Nebraska, at the start of the half. And, Coach, you mentioned at halftime that Missouri's got to find Grower some more shots. He only took two shots first half. And, and I think it's critical that Dueling starts to penetrate more. Down low, Larry Florence. Hamilton, is he out of his range? Nope. Benson Hamilton has 11. That's a shot you're probably going to give him. I, I don't know that he'll hit that consistently, but he's having a great bounce on his jump shot today. And the Huskers, with the first possession in the second half, go up by 13 points here. There's Grower. Missouri came right out and set a, a screen for Grower to get him a good shot. He can shoot the three. Markowski got it back and gets his six point. Harge was worried about committing a foul on the baseline that time, and he gave up a baseline drive because of it. Benson Hamilton now has his 12th straight double-figure scoring game. Parker got in trouble with it and threw it away. Markowski up to Holmes. Well, they mishandled the ball, and it came out okay. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with Hamilton running the court today again, and Nebraska's hands on defense have been outstanding. It's a 14-point lead for the Huskers now. And they have opened the second half well. Parker. Now they just can't get a shot down. And they're quick shots, too. Oh, look at... Oh, look at the block at the other end by Johnny Parker on Larry Florence. That's a huge defensive play. Hey, Larry Florence is a great leaper, and he can get out. And it's a nice recovery by Parker after he missed the shot at this end. He didn't stop playing. I liked our guys at the end of the break to dunk the ball when they could. Pretty high percentage shot, isn't and it? And you're going to get fouled more often than not on that. You very seldom get that block. Belcher, Markowski. Taken away by Missouri. Brower just hit a big shot for the Tigers. Let's see if he can find another one. And he was fouled as he brought it in the lane. He was Mark trying to make something happen. Markowski at the other end made a, a real classic mistake, and, and, and the mistake is this. When you catch the ball in the post, you need to make a decision quickly. You, you can't fool around with the basketball because there are so many people trapping down on you. Missouri off the inbounds. They have Gilbert in the corner, and he didn't take the three. Instead, got Florence off his feet. Now tries to hand it to Hards and taken away by Holmes for the Huskers. One pass too many. One pass too many, and, and when you jump up in the air and try to make a pass, it, it very seldom is connected. Hamilton with a miss, and Grower chases the rebound down. Let's see if Missouri can get something going. They just haven't been able to solve Nebraska at all. they got to find Albert in, in the paint, or they have to find a dueling for some penetration is what they really need. Now, Harge in the paint is fouled as he got the shot up. Really a nice move by the big guy. I mean, uh, he, he took one power bounce, turned around, and, and took the ball right to the glass. That foul was the second on Larry Florence, and that'll put Harge on the line. Monty Harge, eight points in the first half. Missed his only free throw attempt. He'll shoot two here. And this is where uh, the coach has a real tough decision with, with the big guy who, who, who doesn't shoot the free throws well. You can't get him the ball as much as you would like to. Well, that has to be hard psychologically. He just airballed a free throw. 
Yeah, I, you know, it is it is psychological at the line for many kids. And he needs to stay, keep his head in on his shot. Came right back and got it. Lonnie Harge has nine. Tony, we were talking about that this morning, about how bad free throw shooting is everywhere. Kids shoot the three more than they work on their free throws. They really do. Belcher, a little strong with it. Hamilton had a hand on it. And Grower comes down with a long rebound from Missouri. The Tigers down by 13. Grower trying to get it to 10 and did. Good decision by Grower. Uh, Albert White helped on that play because he ran the court and was a reversal man. And uh, Grower was able to stop and pop it. He's hit two threes in the second half. And you said at halftime they've got to find him some shots. They're finding him. And he's hitting him. This is really a big time move by Grower. Watch the hesitation that he uses on Cohorn here. Steps back to shoot it. That's a really good move. And uh, you know, his, his dad, Rich Grower, was a fine coach at the University of St. Louis, and uh, he really knows how to play. That's a second foul on Clarence Gilbert. Now Cohorn having trouble finding it and didn't get it in in time. Good defense by Missouri. They stopped the inbounds pass. That's really strange because Nebraska usually runs a, and does a great job of running their out-of-bounds plays. I think uh, Missouri's energy level is a lot higher right now, Fred. They are down by 10. Went down by 14 at the start of the second half. Albert White puts it on the floor, runs behind a hard screen. Now try to throw it back to Harge. He wasn't looking. And it's taken away by Nebraska. Belcher. Look at Truscott, the freshman down inside. He's showing, uh, he's doing some things that a freshman can do now, which is run and jump. Well, I'll tell you what, Norm Stewart is unhappy, and he's unhappy with a veteran star player in Albert White. Trescott really continues to run the court. He's got great leaping ability, Fred, and he's, he's so live on that second jump. We saw that in the first half. There he comes again. Belcher really got out of control with it, and the freshman saved him. Freshman players, if they play intelligently and just do the things they're capable of doing, they can really help your team. This kid's a great athlete, and if he'll go to the offensive glass for Danny's team, he can really, really help him. 16-33 left in our contest. Nebraska by 12. Missouri has got to take the ball to the glass. They have got to start penetrating. They must get the ball inside more. Nebraska switches on him again defensively. Grower. Gilbert lost the handle for a moment. Dueling. Gilbert. Monty Hard set up above the free throw line. Now... Drops back down alongside the lane. 13 on the shot clock. Gilbert launches one. Too strong. Rebound Belcher, and here come the Huskers. Hamilton, Truscott down the lane. Off balance, and he got it. Oh, my goodness. He has six. He really has great body control. You know, he, he might bust out of here for 20 the way he's playing right now. Back Changing defenses point. again, Fred. They're back in that zone, and Missouri is, must reverse the basketball. They're keeping it on one side too many times. Robert White perhaps stepped on the out-of-bounds strike, and the Huskers up 14, get the ball back. Time out here. We have 15:44 left in this game. Remember life in the fast lane? I do. First you meet, then you get married, and things slow down. Yeah, right. To help you keep up, drive the supercharged Regal GS Sports Sedan. Plenty of room, standard traction control, and the most power in its class. Hey, you haven't slowed down. Why should your car? Regal by Buick, official car of the supercharged family. Special love. Nothing else matters. Buy a 99 Tiger Shark and pay zero down or get payments as low as $99 per month. I remember when Patty learned to drive. And when she bought her first car. 
And I remember taking her to my shelter insurance agent for car insurance. We've had our car insured with shelter for years. I knew their claim service was the best. And shelter would be there for her. Hi, Daddy. Because shelter's always been there for me. Welcome back to Lincoln. Fred White along with Tony Baroni and a 14-point lead to the Huskers with a long way to go. Kansas State won at Iowa State today. Texas A&M beat Baylor. And Tony, the score that we kind of reacted to at halftime, out of the Big Ten, Northwestern on the road, another win for Kevin O'Neill. Yeah, you know, Northwestern is just playing well. They've got a great big man in Eschmeyer, and they shoot the three tremendously well. Kevin O'Neill can flat coach a little bit, can Absolutely. And he's a wonderful recruiter, and he, he's one of the top coaches in the country. They won at Penn State today. And a marvelous player in the middle in Evan Eschmeyer. Huskers with the basketball. Cohorn. Chad Johnson backs it out. Nine on the shot clock, and they're content to burn some clock. Now Hamilton takes Hard's baseline, put a quick move on him, and missed the shot. But look at Trescott, the placement again. Oh, what a hop he got in there. No one is blocking him off the glass, and he's got a free reign right through the glass. That was what Norm Stewart was yelling at Albert White about a while ago. Ne Nebraska isolated Hamilton on that last play because they know Hard is in trouble down there. Oh, uh, Hamilton missed the easy bucket that time. Missouri got lucky. Albert White rebounded it. And Benson Missouri. got a little ahead of himself that time. Missouri just not doing much against the Nebraska defense right now. Keon Dooling trying to work on Cookie Belcher. Lost the ball. Cohorn has it and wants a timeout and gets it. I wonder about that play. Burning a timeout. I don't yeah. know. It's a tough call uh, for the player on the court because really it was it would have been the possession going to Missouri if they had tied it up anyway as a regular as an as a jump ball. Uh, he had possession of the ball, so calling the timeout was going to keep the possession in his hands. But when you do burn a timeout, it usually comes back to haunt you near the end of the game. But at the moment, I think it's a smart thing to do for the kid as opposed to losing possession of the basketball. One of those heat of the battle calls. Remaining scouts for Missouri. They go to Iowa State for the big Monday game. Then Colorado and Oklahoma at home. Down to Stillwater to tangle with the Cowboys. Then Iowa State at home. And they finish at Texas in what could be a big game for the finale in the regular season before the tournament. Texas is playing very well, obviously. Coach Barnes has done a great job. Oh, what a cut. Cohorn with the easy bucket. I tell you what, right now, Nebraska's carving Missouri up pretty well. The movement on offense is really hurting Missouri right now. They, they need to get the ball moving. They need to get some cutters going to the basket. They're down by 16 points, biggest lead in the ball game. And the problem is they cannot solve Nebraska's defense right now. They're, they're, they're not attacking the zone, but on the perimeter. And Danny will not be mad at that shot. I mean, that's one of the shots he's going to give up in the zone. A three for Gilbert, his sixth point of the day. Belcher, Johnson, and Gilbert took it away. Gilbert on the run out with Belcher right behind him, and he missed the bucket. Brower got the stick back. Ryan Brower has 11 points now. Good effort that time by both Missouri guards. Belcher against Dooling, and Dooling ran into a Hamilton pick. They got it back to Hamilton, and he couldn't bury the shot. Rebound taken out of there. Johnny Parker from Missouri on the board. Brower dueling. Back within 11, Missouri. This one could take it down to single digits and maybe change the momentum a bit. 17 on the shot clock. There's Keon dueling with that quickness off the baseline and a high lob won't fall. He's been good at that shot, though, and what a tough shot it is. He's got great quickness and he can stop on a dime just like Cohorn did there. Cohorn with a quick shot. Danny Knee's not that, happy. Yeah, that's <laughs> not the shot that Danny wanted in that particular situation. He got an 11-point lead with 12.40 to go, and it happened way too fast. And now a foul on Nebraska at the other end of the floor. Vincent Hamilton, maybe. Or Cohorn. I think they got Cohorn on the foul. M Missouri's doing a little better job now of trying to penetrate, of taking the ball to the glass, 
trying to get some foul situations in the baseline. And that's really what they need to do. A lot of people don't recognize the fact when you're on the line, you give your, op your, your team a chance to get a little bit of a rest here. Now, you want to make your free throws, but it does give your team, like the big guy, a chance to get a breather. A bunch of changes for Nebraska now. Piatkowski, Florence, and Holmes all coming on the floor. Danny has confidence in his bench, and they have been a factor in the game today just from a minute standpoint. Johnny Parker has not scored. He missed both free throw attempts. They don't have a point out of him today. So, still up by 11. Nebraska getting the ball back. Piatkowski holds. Lawrence trying to take Gilbert off the dribble, gave it up. Piatkowski's picked up the dribble, now Florence. Against Gilbert, he picked it up. Now Hamilton lost the handle for the moment. Piatkowski's wide open. Arge clears the rebound. Nebraska accomplished what they wanted to do that time, take some time off the clock. Fourth quarter of the day for Monty Hart. Gilbert, and he walked. Missouri turns it over. That's their 18th turnover today. We'll have a timeout, and we're back after this from your friends at Phillips 66, the performance company. Have you seen it? The topic of every tree's whisper. The reason the stars twinkle. What every wing caresses. Look for it, and you will fail to see it, even as it surrounds you. It's in our first breath, our last, and every breath in between. It is precious, this invisible thing called air, which is why we try, in little ways, to protect it. It's just something to think about the next time you need fuel. Hey, grab me some chow. For you, my friend, no sweat. Bang. <laughs> Want personal service? You got it at Sonic. Great food, too, like our famous chicken strip dinner. Served hot and crispy with fries, Texas toast, gravy, and a medium Dr. Pepper, all for a special low price. And this month, try our chocolate-covered cherry sweetheart shake. Pretty sweet service, huh? We'll be home before the commercials are over. Drive in for a change at Sonic. Work piling up. Let's go. That's the perfect time to declare a national holiday. National Car Rental is declaring every day a national holiday. With our great holiday rates, you can escape to the slopes. Or the golf greens. Or the tropical beaches. So call National Car Rental now. And declare your own national holiday. What are you waiting for? Let's go. How would you like to win a trip to the Big 12 tournament in Kansas City? Not hard, just answer the nation's bank salute to excellent question. And this week's question is, the last team currently in the Big 12 conference to make it to the NCAA Final Four. If you know the answer, visit the Big 12 website at www.big12sports.com. All correct entries will be entered into a drawing for a trip to see the Big 12 tournament. Nation's bank is the official bank of the Big 12 conference. Huskers up by 11, getting the ball. Holmes Truscott. Truscott's getting a lot of playing time here in a big game, and he's really got live legs, so he's, he's doing a good job. He's a fun player to watch. He, he's an absolute leaper. Ayabkowski down low. Florence going to work, lost the handle on it, picked up and saved by Hamilton. They Florence. You, Seven points. You have to love Hamilton's passing ability out there. And Florence with a great back cut. Coach Hamilton has 11 points, six rebounds, and six assists, a career high. Hards couldn't get the tip down. Here come the Huskers leading by 13. Six assists for Vincent Hamilton in this game. And he's one of the leaders in steals in the league also, which is an interesting stat for a big guy. Well, the go with his 51 blocks, he has 41 steals this year. Piatkowski to Hamilton, and Grower is right there, had a hand on it. And Grower trying to figure out where Piatkowski is, finds the open man in the corner, but the shot won't fall. The miss that time from John Woods. And it's out of bounds in Nebraska now. This is a good isolation here. Hamilton kind of loses his handle, but great backdoor cut. You can see the defender tried to open up to see the ball and actually fell down. 
Albert White returning for Missouri, replacing Johnny Parker. Albert White been quiet in the second half. He has seven points on the day and four rebounds. Albert White had 12 points against Nebraska down in Columbia earlier when the Tigers won that ball game and won a big 80-57 on January 2nd. Nebraska was coming off an eight-day trip at that time. That's a tough trip to come off of and then go into Hearn there. It's a tough, tough place to play. Nebraska's doing a real good job of controlling the um, momentum here on offense. And they're really very, very patient. Hamilton against Harge, and he got help that time from Keon Dooling, who touched it and flipped it out of bounds, and Nebraska gets it back with 25 on the shot clock. Holmes mentioned to Venz in that time that he was available and, and uh, Hamilton acknowledged it. You'll see him make that pass next time. I have Kowski off the side of the board. Harge up court in a hurry to John Woods. And Woods in the lane can't finish the shot. Here come the Huskers. I have Kowski and got it. The difference between the two breaks, and here's a steal on the inbound pass by Hamilton, who stepped into the play. The difference is Nebraska's filling the lane, and they're outnumbering. Missouri. Now Dooling takes it away from Missouri and Dooling double teamed and fouled and had the presence of mind to go ahead and take the shot. It didn't fall for it. One of the concerns coaches have about guards is that they tend to dribble sometimes too much. And that's what happened to Holmes that time. He put the ball on the deck way too much. He was he really had an open man on the wing to start their offense. Then he committed the foul at the other end. John Woods just came out of the game for Missouri. Ryan Grower now Gilbert. Brask is in the zone on the out of bounds play. There's a pop from the deepest corner that won't go, and Markowski rebounds for Nebraska. The Huskers get the ball back, leading by 15 with 9.30 left in this game. It's been a great day for Nebraska. Missouri will have to pick up their defensive intensity. Holmes, Hyatkowski. And the shot wasn't there as Dooling came out to cover. Nebraska so patient, playing with great discipline. Now Hamilton faces Harge and puts up a little jump shot that won't fall. Harge clears the rebound, but knocked out of there and saved by Missouri. Lauer, tough shot, and he got it. He was fouled. He'll go to the line. Boy, that was a really a wonderful play by uh, Grower, and Gilbert made an excellent pass. Uh, you can see Grower he thinks he's a big guy here, uses that elbow a little bit to clean him out and uh, make the basket. You got to give those little guys a little extra once in a while down there. 13 now for Grower, 10 of them in the second half. The foul on Markowski. And now Harge will take a seat. Johnny Parker back on from Missouri. Grower to the line, excellent free throw shooter. 75%. And he completes the three-point play, and now it's a 12-point lead for Nebraska. A little trap from Missouri doesn't work for him, and Belcher has the ball. Chad Johnson, and the ball taken away by Missouri. They are three on one, and Dooling's going to make the run. And Cohen missed the shot, and Belcher the rebound. Now it's knocked loose again. Gilbert to save. Great job by Grower. He's got an excellent strong hand. Dooling that time tried to do a little too much. He just needed to dish it to the wing, who had the open shot. Missouri down 12. Dooling, deep corner, Gilbert. Gilbert, tough try, and knocked down a three. That's big. He loves that corner, obviously, because he shot it every time he's touching that corner. He has nine, and now it's a nine-point lead for Nebraska. Belcher. Missouri, seven for 16 from behind the arc today. Good shooting from three-point range. Nebraska, just one for three. They haven't shot many three-pointers today. Now the foul on Belcher. Missouri is doing a better job defensively. Uh, also, they're using a little 2-2-1 two -two press. Three fouls on Belcher with 7.55. Left in this ball game and a timeout. Nine-point lead, Nebraska. We're back after this from your friends at Phillips 66, the performance company. 
physics, science, and technology. The exciting field of engineering. <laughs> yes, engineering. With a career in engineering, you can accomplish many things. From microchips to potato chips, engineers turn ideas into reality. But you don't have to be a straight-A student, and it's not just for guys anymore. All you need is math, science, and ambition. Learn more during National Engineers Week. Just ask your science or math teacher. Engineers make a world of difference. Do rich people have more friends than the rest of us? Are they more deserving of a comfortable seat? Are they more entitled to break safely on a rainy day? Are we the only car company that doesn't think so? Century by Buick. Full of amenities for under 20000 And right now, Century is an even better value. Come in today and get $750 cash back on every new 99. Century by Buick. A luxury car for everyone. The first front-wheel drive minivan in America. The first to offer dual sliding doors. The first with roll-out seats. A minivan that since introduction has offered more innovations than any other. The new Dodge has a passion for bringing the future into the present and then making it affordable with a thousand dollars cash allowance or 1.9 financing on Dodge caravans. The future is waiting. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you for this limited time offer. We are back, and Phillips 66 is proud to be the presenting sponsor of Big 12 Basketball. Be sure to stop by your local Phillips 66 station and fill up with high-quality, super-clean gasoline. Only from Phillips 66, the performance company. Nebraska by nine with 7.55 to play. There's Clarence Gilbert just hit a big three out of the corner. He has three threes and nine points in this ball game. Missouri down by 16 earlier, now down by nine with the ball and 7.48 to play. Dueling. White tried to get it back to Dueling, taken away. Chad Johnson got a hand on it. Cohorn has it. Might not have the right guys handling the ball, Tony. Well, he, he made a pass uh, into the defense. That, that was not a good look that time. Now Belcher. Cohorn had it taken away. Stripped by Gilbert, and Gilbert fouled by Andy Markowski before he ever got it headed for the basket. Markowski's second foul. And I'm impressed with Gilbert. Excellent job of uh, going after the basketball. What happens here is, you see where Cohorn put the ball? He put it down low, and he lets the guard take it away. And then it happens a lot of times if you're not aggressive with the ball. Gilbert, the freshman, Dooling's high school teammate down in Florida from Fort Lauderdale, has nine points a day, had seven the last game against Texas Tech. And Norman's upset about the call there because he thought it should have been an intentional foul, and I would tend to agree with him in that particular situation. It was a breakaway, he was grabbed from behind. Gilbert, that's a rare miss. He's an 83% free throw shooter. That really could hurt. Now Piatkowski at the other end. Finds Johnson, spinner off the baseline, didn't go. Nebraska shooting it in a hurry, Tony. Way too quickly, and Missouri has changed the tempo, which is what I thought they would do from the beginning of this game. Uh, I think you'll see Hamilton get back in here pretty quickly to control the, the, the boards again. White. Turn around, Parker. He got it, his first points of the day, his first two, and now it's all of a sudden back to a seven-point lead for Nebraska. Good isolation that time by Missouri of getting the ball in to the posted up man. 8-2 run now in the last two minutes and 14 seconds, and Nebraska just turned it over. All, Missouri has it working. All of this has been precipitated by the intensity on defense of Missouri. They have really attacked Nebraska much more than they did for that first 18, 19 minutes of the game. So let's see if Albert White can take it over for a while now. They have to get him the ball. I'd like to see him get get him the ball the way they got it to Parker the last time on that isolation. Huskers are man to man. Markowski defending White. He has it in the deep corner. Goes by Markowski off the baseline, and is knocked out of his hands down there. There's a lot of traffic down there, Fred. When uh, they try to drive the baseline, not only is Monty down there, but they had the guard cutting through down there. There you see the shooting. Nebraska's really cooled off after a 63 percent first half. Gilbert the miss, Albert White, big rebound, and the bucket goes. He has nine, and he was fouled. He's going to go to the line. Well, can he take it over? There's the first bid. Most of the time when, when you 
correctly observed take it over. You take it over with effort. That's how you go. And he out-rebounded two guys for that basketball and then shot it over Hamilton. Uh, a lot of times people think, well, he's going to take it over by just shooting it. Nah, you take it over by effort. He has 10 points. That's a big three-point play. And now, all of a sudden, Missouri charging within four with 6.21 to play. And Nebraska now needs a position. Benson has to touch the ball on this possession. They've got to get him the basketball and let him go to work a little bit on the play. He's too far out for right now. He needs to get in that low block. Belcher for three. It didn't fall, and there's Albert White to clear the board. Missouri down four. Missouri has outscored Nebraska 11 to two here in the last three minutes of the game. Norm Stewart calling a play from the bench now to see how Missouri sets it up. Dueling. Blocked by Hamilton. Whoa, did he get it clean, and it's out of bounds to Nebraska, his second block of the day. It's a freshman mistake here. He had the big guy posted up, and he also had him on the penetration, uh, but he had a little youthful exuberance there and tried to make one he wasn't probably going to get off. So 5.33 to play now. Nebraska up by four with the ball. Markowski. Belcher. Nebraska yeah. has elected to continue to move the ball. Oh, that's huge. That is huge. Hamilton got Harge on his hip, scored, and Harge fouled him. That's the fourth on Harge. Nebraska is moving so well on offense that Monty lost his man. And in, th in that particular case, he should have just let him go ahead and dunk the basketball and not get the foul. See how he over-rotated to the, to the side of the ball. I mean, he, he did commit that foul. Hamilton now has 14 points, seven rebounds, and six assists in this ball game. That's big, and now Husker's up seven, and now the crowd into it here at the Devaney Center. Robert White lost the handle on it, and now saves it. 21 on the shot clock. Keon Dewey. There's Gilbert from that spot in the corner. That one will fall. Belcher clears it. Huskers have the ball, leading with 4.50 to play. 58-51, Nebraska. Every close game comes down to your ability to stop the other team at one point in time. Hamilton. He's even smiling at that wow. shot. 16 points for Hamilton. Danny Nee, about as excited as I've ever seen him. Nine-point lead. Huskers with 4.23 to play. Albert White down the lane. Hamilton with his third block, and he takes it out of the air. His third block of the day, Piatkowski to Markowski, stolen by Grauer. And here come the Tigers. of these cutters turnaround shot wouldn't go white can't skip the rebound hamilton clears it for nebraska benson hamilton now with 16 points nine rebounds and six assists one board away from another double double he's had seven of them in conference play that's a player yeah and, and he's done it against excellent competition in this league hamilton does this probably better better than anyone in this league he really helps and see what he's done he's created some space between the offensive player and himself and he has not only does he have the presence of mind to block it but he has the presence of mind to keep it in the courts there you see the huskers they have the lead here with 343 to play you see what they've done when they lead with five and three minutes remaining in the game they haven't lost one yet when they're doing that again hamilton with three blocks 16 points nine boards and six assists that's a day well that's a day for a, a you know a, a guard almost to have those assists but you add the big guy to it with his shots blocked and his uh, assist and his steals in the paint he's made a couple of those today 343 to play the huskers with that nine point lead inbounds cookie belcher 21 on the shot clock after the timeout now you have to know how to work the clock now when you have the lead it 
against a team like Missouri, you'll always have an outlet because Monty will not come out there and guard the big guy. Ayakowski roaring to the bucket, blocked by Albert White. And here come the Tigers, two on one against Belcher. Grower's going to take it and got it. He does that real well. You saw he got his body into Belcher, and he was able to get the shot off because of that. 16 for Grower, 13 of them in the second half. And a blocking foul on Clarence Gilbert with 3.04 to play. It's a tough call, a block charge, but it was a good call. Time out here, three minutes, four seconds left in this one. Nebraska up by seven when we come back. How do you measure opportunity? Is it one size fits all? Does it only come in small, medium, and large? At Nations Bank, we believe the true measure of opportunity is not the size of your business, but the size of your ideas. Maybe that's why we lend more money to small businesses than any bank in America. We share your point of view, and what we see is not a small business. It's a huge opportunity. Let's make the most of it. And now, Queen Victoria and Cleopatra talk fashion. I'm thinking of getting a tattoo. Perhaps a rose or a fleur de lis. Hmm, I don't know, Doc. And thanks to three-way calling, they consult. Got her in the grid. Kate, honey, what do you think? Vicky with a tattoo? I say you proceed, woman. I believe that's you go, girl. Three-way calling. It's already on your phone. It's just 75 cents per use, and it's a great way for great minds to get together. Think all chilies taste the same? Take a close look at Stag. Oh, what you see? What you see? Is what you get. Yeah, girl. Is what you oh, get. Oh, what you see? Stag chili. See how good it tastes. A Studio 66 update from Conference USA in Chicago. DePaul, Cincinnati in overtime. Willie Coleman was fouled with no time on the clock. He misses the first free throw. The second one, he gets it to go. DePaul upsets the Bearcats. 61-60, number three falls. In the SEC, number five falls. Kentucky loses to Alabama in Tuscaloosa. First time in seven years they've lost back-to-back -back games. Back to Fred and Tony. All right, thank you, Doug. And a seven-point lead to the Huskers here with 3.04 to play, and they have the ball with a fresh shot clock when we come back. You, you have to work the clock in this situation. You want to keep the ball in the hands of your good free throw shooter. Aggressive defense, but a foul on Keon Dooling. And for Dooling, number two on the day. Fouls have not been much of a factor here. Monty Harge has four. He has nine points on the day with seven rebounds, and... Hamilton has 16 points, nine boards, and six assists with three blocks in this game. They can still be very aggressive here because they've got some fouls to give. Florence off the baseline. Ill-advised probably, Fred. No need to take that particular shot unless you take it right to the glass. He looked shocked to be that open, and he just shot a throw over the apparatus. If Missouri's going to do it, they need something right here. Grower trying to give it to him and does. It's a three. Can he shoot? Great job off the down screen by Missouri to get the ball to Grower in Grower's hands. 17 for Grower. Gilbert off the steal. Gilbert has 11. And it's a two-point ball game, and there's a foul. The, the little 2-2-1 two, two, press has confused Nebraska at the guard spot. You can't throw that cross-court pass with against the 2-2-1 because they're they're guarding up on that offensive player. The foul on Cookie Boucher was his fourth. Brower with a career high 19, and now Gilbert and Monty Hards clears the rebound. This could be a tie ball game or even a lead for Missouri. 2:21 to play. They're down by two. Oh, what a comeback for the Tigers in Lincoln. Dooley goes by Florence. Jump shot to Strong and rebound to Piatkowski and Gilbert can't time up. Here come the Huskers still leading. No need to foul here. You got to play good solid defense. Two minutes to play. Belcher 
Gilbert with him. Boy, the Tigers really aggressive on the defense, and Albert White fouls Markowski, and that's not all bad. No, and, and, and plus, uh, Nebraska's not in the bonus yet. So they've got some fouls that they can give. They have one more to give, and then they'll be in the bonus after that in terms of Missouri. Well, Markowski's coming out of the game. He's a 49% free throw shooter, and Danny Nee obviously wants a better free throw yeah, shooter he, on the floor. He was totally aware of what you brought up, Fred, that he wanted him out of the lineup. Now Florence had a foul outside on Keon Dooling. That's Dooling's third with a minute 50 to play. And now, now they have to be much more sensitive to the foul situation here. Cohorn coming back on for Nebraska and Piatkowski coming up. This is where you have to dig in on defense now. You, you, you have a, an understanding the ball's going to get in Hamilton's hands here eventually. Belcher, there's the ball to Hamilton down low. Harge has four fouls. What's Hamilton going to do? He's looking for cutters and finds Cohorn. 21 on the shot clock. Good patience, Nebraska. They should be patient. They're up with a minute 30 to play. Johnson, not a good shot, but what a great save by Larry Florence. And now timeout as Belcher let one fly. Nebraska got the timeout. Did, did the shot clock go off? They have eight on the clock right on the shot clock right now. We'll come back with Nebraska leading by two. This game is brought to you by Phillips 66, makers of super clean gasolines and Trop Arctic motor oil. By Advance Auto Parts, the best part is our people. By Buick, isn't it time for a real car? By Nations Bank. And by Las Vegas. It's anything and everything. Make your escape today. Call your travel agent. We have a minute 23 to go, and let's reset things for you. Missouri has two full times out, Nebraska one. There you see the team fouls. Everybody will be shooting from here on out on the fouls. A minute 23 to play. Nebraska up by two, and Tony, eight seconds on the shot clock when they come back. And, and you see how important it is. To, to run your out of bounds play on a daily basis in practice because now here we are at the end of the game. Nebraska needs to get a shot off of their out of bounds play. I would look for them to get the ball to the perimeter and then get it right inside to Hamilton and live and die with what he does after the ball gets into him. So it'll be Husker ball with eight seconds to shoot it and a minute 23 to play. Wednesday. Nebraska at Kansas or Oklahoma at Texas will be on the menu for you in Big 12 basketball on ESPN Plus. Yeah, Tony, inevitably in a play like this, let's go to next Saturday first, Texas at A&M in Oklahoma and Colorado in Missouri. Somebody will say, well, all they need to do is get it inbounds. We'll try that sometimes under pressure. It's not that easy. Especially when the ball is on the sideline out of bounds here. It's a tougher play when it's over there. I think what uh, Nebraska is going to do is try to get the ball high low right away Johnson got it to Belcher and he takes a quick shot that won't fall look at Florence big bucket for Nebraska offensive rebounding Fred four-point lead Huskers with a minute eight to play and it was Larry Florence who got it done for him Grower way out front a minute to play 17 on the shot clock Inside the Harge, and he tried to muscle it up and was fouled. Great pass by Grower in terms of finding the side of the ball to throw it to uh, Monty. Uh, defensively, Nebraska was playing on the baseline side, and he got stuck. Good job by Grower. Here we go again, Fred, with the same concept, that you've got to make your free throws here. And this is a bonus shot. Now he's got two on fouls. And that's a 48% shooter on the line. Got it. Fred, you know, he has a good touch. A lot of times, big guys, their hands are so big that they get, don't get a good feel on the ball. Well, he has it down to a one possession game. Nebraska by three, 54 and a half seconds to play. Benson Hamilton now has a double-double. He grabbed the rebound there. He has 16 points, 10 rebounds, six assists, and three blocks today. So it's a three-point lead to the Huskers. 43 seconds to play. 23 on the shot clock. This is where you want a good ball handler, handler to take over. 
Uh, Missouri does not want to foul here. They did foul on the far side. The foul committed by Gilbert, and I think he fouled Chad Johnson, the sophomore over there, who's just a 54% shooter. So they knew who they wanted to foul. I, I think Coach Stewart was telling Gilbert that's the man that they didn't want to foul. And uh, again, it, we're, we're looking here at, at a situation where they've got a, a, a bonus. You've got to check off the glass if you miss now. Four fouls on Gilbert. Now Johnson hasn't scored today. A 54% free throw shooter. 34 seconds to play, and that's big. That is really big. Well, he stepped right to the line under a lot of pressure. Not shooting the ball well necessarily, but nailed that one. Now Danny Nee takes a timeout. It has to be a full. That's all he had left. That's his last timeout. We have a timeout. Let us run you back to Studio 66 and Doug Bell for a quick report. Fred and Tony, thank you. It's been upset Saturday among some of the top teams in the country. Let's start at the top and tell you who won and who didn't. UConn, very impressive at Stanford, winning 70-59. Richard Hamilton didn't play, still out with an injury, but Colleen el -Amin certainly picked up the slack. 23 points. Duke wins against Georgia Tech. They trailed most of that game, but came on in the final five minutes to win 87-79. Cincinnati lost in Chicago to DePaul in overtime, 61-60. And Kentucky lost in Tuscaloosa to Alabama. Arkansas loses in Nashville to Vanderbilt. Back out to Fred White and Tony Baroni for the conclusion in Nebraska and Missouri. Let's take a look at our best play of the game brought to you by Advanced Auto Parts for the best part is our people. And Vincent Hamilton has been a best part of Nebraska today. This is pretty indicative of what he's done all day today. Quick drop down move, one step, up and over hard for the dunk. Probably got fouled and they called it. He, he's been really live around the basket. It's his eighth double-double in conference play. Vincent Hamilton now 16 points, 10 rebounds, and a half dozen assists to go with three blocks today. And it's a four-point lead now to Nebraska with 34 seconds to play, and Chad Johnson will shoot his second free throw when we come back. The sophomore from Monticello, Florida, a transfer from Florida A&M whose only point was the free throw he just made so far today. And Coach Nee will make a decision here on what kind of defense he wants to play off the miss or the make. Uh, it's a two possession game here and uh, we'll see what kind of defense he plays at the other end. Not bad, huh? <laughs> no, and, and no, nothing but net. So it's a five point lead, two possession game. Keon Dooley to the bucket. Oh Mike, and he jumped. Does he get some hops? <laughs> looked a little bit like you today, Fred. On, on the, the step ladder. <laughs> <laughs> well, what he does here, two things happen. First, he really beats the defender. But secondly, you saw White clear out Markowski on that particular play. You can see it here. He clears him out underneath the basket to give him a free reign. Uh, up until then, the baseline has not been an area for doing because there's been congestion down there. That's his first points here in the second half also. Dueling with nine, took Lawrence off the dribble. So now 27 and a half to play. If you're Missouri, what do you do? Well, uh, first of all, Norm is, try is deciding who's in the game for them. Who do we want to foul? Now that strategy works okay. Danny's sitting over there saying, look, we're not going to put the ball in the hands of one of our guys who can't shoot a free throw. So at this particular time, you're going to have to pressure up defensively. Norm is sitting there saying, okay, look, we've got to try to deny the inbound pass. Danny is setting up his baseline and sideline out of bounds plays to determine to whom he wants to throw the ball on the inbounds play. You would think that Nebraska would not have Johnson nor Markowski on the floor, 54 and 49 percent free throw shooters, but Johnson did just hit the two. He probably will leave Johnson in for that very reason. Now, Norm might determine by double teaming or, or whatever to not let the ball get in certain guys' hands. Uh, you don't want it in Cohorn's hands, for example. He keeps Johnson in the ball game. It's Hamilton, Johnson, Belcher, Florence, and Cohorn. Watch Nebraska on this play. They tend sometimes to run back screens and throw the long pass for the layup. It's a, it's a good play, but it's, it's risky. So they send Florence long and throw it inbounds to Belcher, and he's fouled by Gilbert, and that'll do it for Gilbert. He is fouled out of the ballgame, I believe. 25.8 seconds to play as Gilbert committed the foul. And he has fouled out of the ballgame. He'll sit down with 11 points on the day. 
I, I thought he played one heck of a basketball game. I was impressed with his shooting coming in, but I was more impressed with his defensive intensity today. He's starting to find it a little bit offensively, too. Kind of good back-to-back -back games for Gilbert. Now Belcher to the line. He's a 66% shooter. He's had a quiet day, seven points, all of them in the first half. Again, you, you're talking checkout here. You're talking checkout here. You want to make sure you do not let him sneak in on you. It's a three-point lead in Nebraska, just under 26 seconds to play. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. It fell. Coach Nee attended uh, St. Mary's grade school mass this morning, <laughs> I think. <laughs> that was a soft touch. That, was a, that, that ball rolled in and out. He went to college at St. Mary's. The Plains had used all his training right there. <laughs> with the rebound the Huskers keep it 21 seconds to play Chad Johnson to the bucket got it and the Huskers in good shape leading by six 17 to play dueling flipped up a shot that won't fall Nebraska's got the ball Chad Johnson had it knocked loose by Grower with nine and a half seconds to play it's the third offensive rebound that Nebraska has gotten off a of missed free throw Missouri will spend a timeout with nine and a half seconds to play. It is 67-61, Nebraska. We still have nine and a half to go. Don't go away. We'll bring you back for the finish at the Devaney Center. Advance Auto Parts presents part number 16. Larry, our battery expert. Larry installs more AutoCraft batteries in a day than most people do in a lifetime. No matter what you drive, Larry will make sure you get the right battery for your car. 92 a quart? Yeah. Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. It is a place where the finest is appreciated in private. Because when one has truly arrived, there is no need to announce it. Park Avenue by Buick. The power of understatement. We are back. Tony, Nebraska took the charge from Missouri and kept their poise. They, they really did. They did a good job. Of, they kept on playing through their struggle. Uh, Missouri's got to get a quick three here, and uh, Nebraska just wants to avoid fouling them. Now Nebraska off the inbounds. Cohorn to Florence to Cohorn. They've got on the hands of a free throw shooter, and he ran right by everybody. And we have just two seconds to play, and Cohorn is fouled by Keon Dooley. Good example of getting the ball to your free throw shooter. Uh, Cohorn is a, it will be an excellent free throw shooter and uh, I was impressed with Nebraska's intensity during Missouri's run they did a good job Kerry Cohorn the freshman from Minden Iowa who set out last year after ankle surgery 92 percent free throw shooter that's a stroke isn't it yeah the, those point guards they need to be able to shoot free throws that well because they they do get the ball in their hands at the end of the game so Cohorn, Cohorn is iced it for the Corn Huskers. Cohorn and the Corn Huskers leading 69 61. And the ball out of bounds now, and that's going to be the ball game. Nebraska's won at 69 61 to go 7 and 3 in the conference. With the loss, Missouri falls to 7 and 3. For Tony Baroni, Fred White saying thanks for watching. Let's get you back to Duck Bell in Studio 66.